I really welcome tonight's budget allocation um, in health towards increased mental health services for all Australians. We've seen this reflected through the spectrum of life, through the course of whole of life course, right from young people with the expansion of the Headspace service initiative through to the middle um, adult mental health service initiatives, right through to the aged care initi initiatives. And I really support investment in important delivery of mental health services. I think it's amazingly important that the government is also investing specifically in suicide prevention, which remains the biggest killer of our young people in Australia and a major contributor to premature mortality across our lifespan. It's only through investing in suicide prevention and early intervention initiatives that we can have any hope of addressing this issue. And that's particularly why the extra investment in alcohol and other drug use, treatment, identification and service delivery is also welcome in this budget. So I think there are a lot of positives all around. From a research perspective, I think there are unfortunately some really missed opportunities um, in this budget to invest in and expand further the Million Minds mission, which was set up at the last budget to deliver an injection of specific targeted mental health research dollars to expand what we know so that it can influence what we do. And I think one of the Minister's um, statements about today's research being tomorrow's healthcare was really quite telling in that it's only through an investment in research that we can actually lead to better outcomes, better service delivery models and improving what we do and what we know into those new mental health service delivery models. And I think an absence of increased investment in mental health research was truly a missed opportunity and a big gap in tonight's budget and something that we as the mental health research sector are quite disappointed about. I think also in terms of the preventative healthcare investment, again, it's really, really critical and important to be in, uh, investing in preventive practices to prevent chronic health disease um, across the lifespan. But again, mental health was a key missing issue in, the, in government's investment into prevention. We have really strong evidence coming from Australia about what we need to do in order to prevent as well as intervene early across the range of mental illness and related issues and we didn't see any specific investment into those initiatives or the expansion or scaling up of those initiatives in tonight's budget like we did for in say cardiovascular disease and the cancers. So I'm looking forward to working with the government going forward um, on increasing investment and action in those particular areas.